Hey everyone, my name is Hegan and welcome back to Time to Write. Today we're going to be doing a little, a little different kind of video than I usually do. Usually I focus on reviews, but today we're going to be unhauling some books. I don't think I've ever done a haul either on this channel after all these years, but we're going to be unhauling some books because as you can see I have a selection and I need to make some space for um, more books. <laughs> so um, I'm planning on like doing a full reorganisation and clearing out more books, probably after my birthday because I know I'll be receiving more books from then, so I want to have like all my collection together before I start organising but I'm doing like some pre preliminary picks now of what I want to unhaul and remove. The books I am unhauling, I would like to donate them to this bookshop near me, it's called The Book Cycle. It's a place where you can go in, you can get up to three books per day, but you pay for what you want. And any donations from financial donations they receive and any book donations they receive go towards sending books to developing countries and also planting trees across Britain, I think, which is very fun. So originally I thought I would just give these to a charity shop, but I like, I've been to this place, I love this place, I want to support this place. So I think let's just, let's just jump straight in. Let's start unhauling. I'm very nervous. So the first books that I want to unhaul are the first two books in the Percy Jackson series. Not because I don't care about these books anymore, but because I originally bought these second hand for about £2 each on eBay, and they're in okay condition, but I bought on the shelf here, you can see behind all of Gartland, is that I do have a box set of this series of books. So I have two of each of these and they don't fit in anymore. So I've kind of grown out of these specific copies. So I would like to give them to someone else you can still appreciate them because I am obsessed with my matching sets. The next book I'm looking to unhaul is Love Letters to the Dead by, is this Ava Del Delaria? Delaria? I read this many, many years ago. Let's see approximately how many years ago when was this published. This was published in 2014. That sounds about accurate for when I got this. It's when I used to go in WH Smiths, it's before my Goodreads days and before I had any book recommendations. So I used to go in WH Smiths and just think, what looks good? What am I interested in? And this looks cool. I read it once. I never thought about it again. Because so I think I was using buying books instead of a library, which I probably should have been doing. So I have a lot of books like this where I pick, so I thought they looked cool. I read it once. It was okay. And then I've had no desire to read it again. This book, Plays for the Dead by Michelle Falkoff. I bought on the same day as this one and again I bought it because I think it must have been a buy one get one half price offer. I bought it and I thought yeah this sounds cool, read it once, didn't care about it again. I think this one I did reread just because I was wondering what was it actually about because I just couldn't remember at all and again still don't remember what it's about so this one I hope we can pass it on to someone who cares about it a lot more. I will also note that these books are still pretty much in pristine condition because most of them I read once and forgot about <laughs> but I take I used to take very good care of my book so most of them are mint condition. This book who's this? True Dark by Gary Mayen? Mayen? This is a book again I saw it in W.H. Smith's I thought it was very exciting I did not realize that this was a sequel so it's just been sat on my shelf for when do we think we got this one? probably 2014, 2015 this time. I've had this book for the past seven years with the intention of like, yeah, I'll read the first book one day. And then I just moved on and I didn't care. So <laughs> this is the sequel. I don't know if I should donate this one because why is there a corner turned over? There's a corner turned over. Why would I dog ear a page in a book that I haven't read? But I feel weird about donating sequels because obviously the first book's not there and I don't want anyone to fall into the same trap that I did where I thought this was the first book and I don't want them to be disappointed that they spend money on a book and not realise. Uh, I've just realised on the back it says praise for the first book but honestly I didn't realise and now this is just a book that has been here for so long that I've moved on. This book is Gathering of Shadows. This one is completely untouched. The, story the font is tiny. The story behind this book is that I had the full series of, what's it called? A Darker Shade of Magic? They're down, you, you can kind of see them. I got the, the like the collector's edition hardbacks down here. I had all three paperbacks in the series on my Amazon wish list for, I believe, a Christmas. The list got distributed to my relatives and I don't think they, they like communicated amongst themselves about who was buying me what. 
books so i ended up getting the second book in the series and not the first so but i have the hardbacks now when i got this before the hardbacks i was planning like yeah i'll complete the paperback series but then i got those three all in one go so i thought i don't need this one anymore but again as it is not the first book in a series i feel weird donating it just just because what if someone else thinks it's the first but this this is a very good book i feel bad letting this one go because i do love this series so much but i think <laughs> i don't it's the second book i don't i don't need this anymore next we have a copy of harry potter i'm gonna say hold on let's bring these down Ooh. i have the entire harry potter series in paperback and I'm contemplating what to do with the entire series as... How do I word this? First of all, J.K. Rowling, we, we are not a supporter of J.K. Rowling and all the transphobic comments she has made. Second of all, I wasn't someone who grew up with Harry Potter, so I have like no nostalgic childhood connection to these books. I read them in my teens. I read them, I think as library books, but I saw them in Asda on a two for seven pound offer. So I just bought the entire series. And I have two of the first book because I didn't realize this one was damaged when I picked it up. So this one get rid of because it's damaged, but I do have another perfect one. But again, because I read these as eBooks from the library, the entire series is perfectly untouched and I don't want it I don't want it. I don't want the series because I read them. I read them just to say I read them because people were very upset and some people were genuinely offended that I hadn't. So I read them for that. I enjoyed them. I don't think I'll ever have a desire to read them again because that's not. A, it's. I don't have the connection to it. I do not wish to interact with J.K. Rowling's work, and it's just. It's just not a story I care about hugely. So I'm in the complicated place of. Do I just give away this completely pristine, perfect collection of books? But again, I want nothing to do with them. Next, we have JK Rowling again. <laughs> I bought this before she made the transphobic comments. When do we think I bought this one? I'm looking at the copyright page, 2013. This edition was 2014. So I think I bought this because it was before I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone knew that this was her, but in my age group, where everyone's a Harry Potter fan, I don't think anyone knew that she wrote other books besides Harry Potter. So I got this and I thought, yeah, I'm so cool. I have this like, special niche knowledge that no one else knows. And again, it was okay. There's a selection of pages that are folded over at the bottom. You can kind of see there. So when I'm done filming, I'm going to go back and see what I wanted to save from this book. But because I read this when I was what, 12, 13, I don't really care for the genre. And I have read other mystery novels since then that I enjoyed a lot more than this. And I don't really care for the character, but I'm wondering what did I like? So this one I'm unhauling just because I read it once and I don't care to read it again. Next, I'm unhauling 13. Who? Is, look at this is like, it's like a yellow block. Who is this by? Tom Hoyle. Tom Hoyle. Um, another book that I bought because I thought it looked cool, it was probably on the two, oh, buy one get one half price offer in W.H. Smith's, read once, don't care to read it again. It's very alarming seeing the white pages, but again, I have no memory of what this was about. Perhaps I should reread it again before I move it on to a different home, but no desire to keep this on. Also, I don't like how yellow it is, and that's such a dumb materialistic reason to get rid of a book, but it's just so yellow. It's kind of painful for me to look at. Another book bought because I was using a bookshop in the library. Read it once, don't care to read it again. These are mostly books from when I was like very early teens. When was this one done? Where's your copyright page? I'm going to say this was... 2015 
so again when i was 14 these were the books i was interested in back then and a lot of them i say i don't wish to read them again mostly because i've grown out of this storyline and these kind of plots and characters and the tropes so i hope this moves on to a better home i have no memory again of what this was about i think was well, she a selective mute she can't leave the house, she can't even take off her dark glasses inside the house. Is she autistic? Perhaps I'm going to have to read this again, just because I have questions. But again, it's from the era where I thought, you know, I read this once and now I've moved on from life. Again, for If I Stay, I bought it because it was a very, the film came out, it was very popular at the time. I read it, thought it was okay had no desire to read the sequel, so I've just been holding on to this book, waiting to get rid of it. <laughs> Same again for this one. <laughs> this one, I think I did enjoy this one. I just didn't, there's at least four books in the series I can see back here, and I think I just enjoyed it, but I didn't care. I didn't enjoy it enough to read the other ones, so it's just been sat on my shelf. Hold on, book two, book three, book four. There are five inside the cover. So, it's got a Harry Potter comparison on the back. This was, I enjoyed it, but now I do remember how this one went, and I know it's not something that I have any interest in now, so again, we'll never read again, so I hope it can move on to a better home. But I think the final one that I know straight away I don't want anymore is Showstopper. <laughs> I'm laughing because I did a review for this book. How many years ago was this? 2018, I believe. 2018. It came out in 2017. This video, I privated it now. It used to be the most viewed video on my channel by a lot. And it was a very bad review because, in my opinion, this book is very racist. And a lot of people try to defend it as, oh, it's set in the past. Of course it's racist. But it's not, it's set in a near future and it's more racist than current day in my opinion. So I gave this book a bad view. <laughs> that review got, for my standards it got a lot of views, it's probably like 300 views. But it also got a lot of comments of people calling me racist and saying that I supported racism even though I very clearly said I do not agree or support the views in this book. I only bought this book because it was shiny and I thought it would have a cool circus thing. So there are some very vague elements of this that could be cool, but overall, the fact that it's incredibly racist did not vibe with me and gave me no enjoyment. And I think I gave this book two stars because I would have given it one star, but I didn't give one star reviews back then. So yeah, not a fan of this book, getting rid of it because I don't like it. This, this is the only one out of this pile that I'm getting rid of because I genuinely dislike and I have a hatred. Every time I give bad reviews, I think I should do better because as someone who is um, trying to go into their author arc, I should be supporting my peers. However, just simply no. But it is very shiny and doing this is very nice to me. So yeah, we're moving on from this because we no longer support this. I feel like this has a sequel. I mean, I generally don't think it does, but I feel like it does. So yeah, they're all the books that I have grown up, grown out of, and would like to give to a better home where the people can appreciate them a lot more than I can. I think I think when I get around to actually organise my bookshelves, I might do videos for that, of taking all the books off the shelf which will be me, again, probably unhauling more books and just reflecting on my favourites and then a separate video for organising again, putting them back together, making them look cool. Because I see people do that on TikTok all the time and I love watching people organise. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Bye.